So the first thing to say is that Tackling the Blues has been endorsed and supported financially to the tune of half a million pounds by Research England and the Office for Students, and it's also been supported independently by the Premier League's charitable fund. In terms of assessment of quality, in the Research Excellence Framework 2021, Tackling the Blues fall into the background to one of the impact case studies that we submitted to the Sport and Exercise Science panel, and it was rated as four-star or world-class um, impact. And this is important to the university, but also to the users of, of the research, the communities who have been involved, particularly through Everton and the community, and through Tate Liverpool also. Well, we've learned a number of different things, really. Uh, we've started off from the position of researchers working in their department, dealing with uh, the literature in their own areas of research, and going out and talking to partners in the form of Tate Liverpool and Everton in the community, and tapping into their networks to work with their communities and the schools in their hinterlands and getting an insight from them into what they see as problems that they want help from us in trying to solve. So in reflecting on the problems and issues brought to us through these networks by local communities, it's forced us and our researchers to think about the insights from their research literature and to help the communities to come up with solutions to their own problems. And that's been a liberating thing for the communities, but also for the researchers who have now got a far broader conception of the research that they're engaged in and have opened up their minds to thinking about other partnerships, perhaps partnerships further away in other parts of the country or indeed in other countries as well, where there may be cognate projects going on which we can learn more from and gather insights which we could bring back to apply in the local context here.